Welcome to my kitchen. It's nothing fancy, but it gets the job done, and on today's video, I'm going to be showing you actually how to make a bologna sandwich. A fried bologna sandwich at that. So, stay tuned. If you want to know how to fry a bologna sandwich and make a delicious one, then this video is for you. If you're new, get subscribed. Also, if you're a returning subscriber, you know what's in store, so let's get started. So, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to butter my bread because buttering your bread is the best thing ever, and with a fried bologna sandwich, you want to do that. So, I'm going to turn this on medium and let it come to temperature. And as it's coming to temperature, I'm going to take a little bit of butter here, just like so, and let it melt inside of it. I'm going to cut another piece of butter and set it to the side because we're using one stick of butter for every piece of toast. Butter is starting to melt. I'm going to let it coat the whole bottom of this skillet because that's what's going to give you a toast that we're making. Well, brown in a bread, butter in a bread. That's super good taste. So we're going to drop that straight down just like so. We're going to let it start frying. And we're going to just mash it down lightly. You can see the butter soaking into the bread here. Once this skillet comes up to temperature, it will toast extremely faster and you won't have to keep a checking it because usually once you flip it once, give it a few seconds and flip it again, it's done. Now that we're taking our time, you can see we're getting that golden brown look to it. And that's what we want. See that side can use a little bit more because it soaked in a lot more butter. So go ahead and just finish that side off. Looks pretty good to me. Now I'm going to get me a plate and put this in. Looks extremely good. Golden brown. Now we're going to do the same thing over again. I'm going to take our butter, let it melt, scoot it around the whole skillet, put it in the middle drop of bread and get this piece of toast, toasted bread done and then we move on to frying the bologna. So now once we got the bread done we're going to take a bologna. I'm just going to fry one today but you want to take this red stringy thing off of it and then just drop it down in here. Now you can use seasoning and stuff on this salt and pepper that's up to you but if you just like a classic bologna fried bologna flavor then all you do is just fry this till it's done. Now the seasoning as I said was optional. I am going to put some of this butt rub on it. This is extremely good and look like I just uh, dropped a little on it. Don't need much. That's a little overkill. I said we didn't need much but oh well. Now let's go ahead and flip this over and you can see a bologna is starting to fly right now. Scoot it away and get that seasoning on it. Flip it again. Get some more of that seasoning on it. like so now I did drop my temperature just a little I'm gonna bump it back up now it's on low medium I bumped it up to high medium and this stuff should start uh, frying up any second now and you can see a uh, bone is getting fried up pretty good when it starts to lift on the edges here it's starting to shrink and that's due to temperature so let's go ahead and turn it back over mash it down just a little flatten it out And you don't have to fry it as much as I did, but I do like mine a little crispy. So that's what I'm doing right now. It looks extremely good. Let's take it out. I'm going to turn my stove off. So I got a little bit of salt here. I'm just going to use my salt and pepper shakers. Add just a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Then I'm going to add me a tomato. These are fresh cut tomatoes. One tomato and then I'm going to add me just a little bit of lettuce. You can add whatever you want to your fried bologna sandwich. You can add, you know, uh, bacon, lettuce, tomato, seasoning if you want to. Just fix it just plain Jane, mayonnaise, ranch, anything you like. Fried bologna sandwich can be made several ways. So now we're going to go ahead and try this one out. It turned out great in my personal opinion. Check it out. What do you think? Mmm. 
Looks extremely good. We got the toast. We got the tomato in the... So I bet it makes you want to go fix one of these right now. You can use seasoning, anything you like. Some, most people don't prefer seasoning. I personally enjoy seasoning on my uh, fried marni sandwiches. And I enjoy toasting my bread. I know a lot of people don't toast the bread. But I think it gives it an added flavor. The tomato. The lettuce. And that butt seasoning with the salt and pepper. Just delicious. If you ain't tried a fried barney sandwich fixed this way, you need to because you're missing out. Extremely good. So it's a good sandwich. It's a great sandwich to be honest with you. Something you can easily fix. It don't take long to fix. It don't take a lot of money to fix these. I mean a loaf of bread some lettuce, a tomato, and some bologna. I mean, you could eat these, and it, it's a very good fried bologna sandwich fixed this way that you won't get tired of them. So if you're on a budget or anything, trying to stretch out that last dollar, you're getting tired of eating bainy or something, try one of these sandwiches. It won't break the bank. Put it in your lunch. Take it to work with you. You know, a snack on it. It's an anytime sandwich. And if somebody questions you what you're eating, give them a little bite of it, and I bet they'd be surprised too. So if you're new, get subscribed. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you. I appreciate you taking the time of your day watching another one of my videos. I appreciate it. Thanks, and I'll see you on the next one.